Hello. Um, today I just want to pray. I just have a leading in my heart to pray for three categories of people. The first group are those that are sick. You know, those that are going through, you know, one sickness or the other. I, I feel that the Lord wants to touch them today. I don't know if you you feel um, you need a touch of the Lord tonight. I pray that the Lord will touch you. And the second group of people are those that are filled with sorrow, those that are going through, you know, the loss of something dear to them or someone dear to them. Maybe you lost a job, maybe you lost a relationship. I just feel the Lord sees your heart and He wants to bless you. He wants to take away the sorrow. And also the third category of people are those that are discouraged. They are weary. They have been um, disappointed for one reason or the other. Maybe they, what they were expecting did not come true. And they are discouraged. So I would really like to pray for such people. So the first group of people they are those that are sick. And I know the word of God says in Jeremiah 30 verse 17. For I will restore health to you. And I will heal your wounds. Says the Lord. I'm going to read that again. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. For I will restore health to you. And I will heal your wounds. Says the Lord. So the Lord is still in the business of healing those that are sick, those that are have one that have one infirmity or the other, he wants to heal you. So, if you join me in faith today, you will experience healing in your body. Exodus fifteen twenty six also says, "I am the Lord who heals you. He is the God that heals you." And I want you to focus on him as we go into prayers for your healing, for the restoration of your body. Father Lord, I present your people before you today. Those that are sick, that have one infirmity in their heart, body, Lord, I want you to touch them, stretch out your hands, and heal them in the name of Jesus. Let that tumor dry up in the name of Jesus. Let that heart be healed in the name of Jesus. Let that hole in the heart be repaired in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, heal your people, Lord. You say you are the God that healed. Father, send your healing balm upon your children, upon those that are looking unto you for healing. Heal them, O oh Lord. Heal them, O oh Lord. Lord, you are God of all flesh. There's nothing too hard for you to do. So, Father, I come, O oh Lord, in faith, O oh Lord, with all your people that you've known, you've known, you know their names. That's why you ask that we should pray today. Father, please touch them, O oh Lord. Touch them, O oh Lord. Touch them, O oh Lord. Touch their body, their soul, and their spirit. Oh Lord, touch their mental and emotional well-being, oh Lord. Let them receive, yes, a sound mind. Let the heart be healed. Heal them mentally, emotionally, physically, in the name of Jesus. Father, I release the virtue of the blood of Jesus over your people in the name of Jesus. Let them be healed. Release that healing virtue, oh Lord. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow upon your people. And let them receive instant healing. And let them come and testify of your goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the work you are doing, for the surgical operation you are carrying out in the life of your people. Father, heal your people, Lord. Heal them, O oh Lord. Yes, let that knee be healed. Let that back be healed. Let that spine be healed. Yes, in the name of Jesus. That foot, that pain in the foot, 
Let it be healed now in the name of Jesus. That swelling in the feet. Let it, yes, let it come down. Receive healing now. Receive healing now in the name of Jesus. That eyes. Receive healing now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing unto the eyes. Yes, I speak healing unto that throat. Yes. I command, I, I decree that the bacteria should be melted with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let that throat receive wholeness now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord. As you begin to touch your people, yes, even more than I've you know, mentioned, touch them in areas that you know you have seen, that they are hurting, and heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Just begin to do what you cannot do before. Trust God, have faith. The Lord has healed you. He has released his power. So receive your healing in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are going to pray the second group of people. Those that are discouraged for one reason or the other, that are weary, you know, that they, they can't continue, that they praise. Uh, I want you to know that the word of God says in Jeremiah, no, I think we, we said that um, I am Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid of? The Lord is the light, is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is strength of my life. Why should I be afraid? Who should I be afraid of? And also Isaiah 40 verse 1 and 2 says, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, said the Lord. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she had received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says the Lord. God is comforting you today. He's with you, he said. Cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Your disappointment is over. Your weeping is over. The Lord is going to take that discouragement away from you now. Focus on him and trust him as we pray together. Lord Father, I thank you for those that are weary in their heart, troubled in their heart, feeling discouraged at this moment. Father, Lord, comfort them, O Lord, according to your word. Be their strength, O Lord. Those of them that don't have strength to continue, they have given up hope. Give them hope, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Raise them up, O Lord. Strengthen them, O Lord, in the power of your might. In the name of Jesus. Lord. Yes, let the yes, let the weakness, O oh Lord, become strength in the name of Jesus. Put your joy in their heart, O oh Lord. Let your joy bring strength unto them. Let them be strengthened in their inner man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, raise them up, O oh Lord. Comfort them, O oh Lord. Cause them to laugh again in the name of Jesus. Bring laughter to them, O oh Lord. Let them smile again. Let them laugh again. I break that spirit of discouragement, that spirit of depression. Yes, that spirit of sorrow, I break it of them in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that you release the garment of joy, of rejoicing. Release it upon them in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Father, release that garment of joy. Encourage them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give them, O Lord, a miracle that would let them let them testify, that would let them rejoice, that would let them 
you know, see that God is with them. Oh Lord, do it for them, oh Lord. Do it for them, oh Lord. Make a way for them. Make a way for them. Make a way for them in the name of Jesus. Break that oppression. Break their power of oppression. Break it off their lives in the name of Jesus. Break it off their lives in the name of Jesus. Let them rejoice right now. Let that loom, the darkness looming around them, be cleared off in the name of Jesus. Let, let it be cleared off in the name of Jesus. Let that darkness covering them evaporate in the name of Jesus. Evaporate in the name of Jesus. Evaporate in the name of Jesus. Let your light replace that darkness and let them begin to see hope again. Let them have faith again in you in the name of Jesus. Release that faith inside of them in the name of Jesus. Let them arise. Yes, arise from their doubt. Arise from the failures. Arise from their weakness and be strong in the Lord. Yes, thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Lord, as you release that power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go forth and rejoice in the name of Jesus. Receive your joy. 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 Receive your joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I can see rejoicing in the spirit. People are rejoicing. Yes, 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 they are rejoicing. Father, we thank you for releasing joy and song of praise into our midst again, into our heart again. Thank you, Father, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So the third one is, I want to pray for those that have lost something in their lives, loved their ones, uh, loved loved ones, lost loved ones, lost, you know, a job, lost close friends, you know, they have lost things in their lives and they're feeling, you know, sad. They're feeling sad. Matthew 5, 4 says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord will comfort you. The Lord will comfort you. The Lord will wipe you. The wiper of tears will wipe away your tears. The Lord will wipe your tears. And that spirit of heaviness will be broken off your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord will cover you and be a glory upon you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Lord will be to you what you have lost. You feel The Lord will feel that emptiness in you. The Lord will feel that emptiness in you. The Holy Spirit, will, the Comforter, will comfort you. The Lord is wiping away your tears. The Lord is wiping away your tears. Yes, say, blessed are those that mourn. For they shall be comforted. I don't know what you have lost. But the Lord says, I will wipe away your tears. I will wipe away your tears. Yes, I will cause you to forget your sorrows. To forget, so forget that which you have lost. And it will give you hope again. It will bring you hope. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Comfort your children. Comfort them. Comfort them. Take that garment of mourning, of weeping, take it off, and let them wear the garment of joy. Yes. The father to the fatherless. Oh, Lord, feel the emptiness. Feel the emptiness of your people. Feel it them hope let them see you and know that you 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 are with them let them feel your presence around them let them feel your love hovering and covering them thank you lord jesus your tears are wiped off 
you will, you would you would laugh again you'll sing again you'll rejoice again you have hope again you'll be encouraged again you have peace of mind the Lord will surround you with people that would go all the way with you the Lord will give you back what you have lost do not despair trust God he will help you he will keep you he will sustain you he will uphold you he will make his light to shine upon you arise daughter arise son arise daughter arise son the Lord will redeem you your Lord has redeemed you and you are redeemed and restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. We give you the glory, Lord. Lord, I thank you for all your people that have listened today. I pray, oh Lord, that you wrought a great work in their lives. Perform miracles, signs and wonders. Oh Lord, I pray, oh Lord, that you touch areas of, of their lives where they are the way they have pains let them receive liberation healing deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus I cover all these testimonies with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus so shall it be in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen thank you for joining today I pray the Lord will perfect all that concerns you until we meet again, stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes.